Hello, this is Jeremy Bell of Sleepy Daddy Software. I'd like to um, give you an update on the Telnet application that I showed earlier. Um, that was an earlier version of it, and this is the final version that's being submitted to the marketplace right now. Uh, so the first thing you'll notice is that there's a live tile uh, for one of my favorites that I've set up in the Telnet app. So, um, so that's pretty cool. You can hold, you can pin any uh, favorite uh, host that you want to the live tile to the start screen, and you can launch directly into that host, uh, which is kind of cool. So uh, the I said that I was going to add a favorites menu, and I have. Um, that's the first thing that shows up here. You can add as many favorites as you want. You can scroll up and down for them, um, and you can pin any of them to the start screen by clicking on the pin tile um, button right there. Um, so the other thing you'll notice is that um, this is by default this is what it, this will look like. Um, I've got a setting to um, determine whether you want to connect to over your cell connections. So some telnet servers are a little spammy so if you use your cell um, data plan um, that'll cause a lot of, of data use. So um, by default that's turned off but you can turn that on here. Um, the other thing you can do is, is tell Telnet whether to um, connect using your data connect, connection by default or using your non-data connection by default. The only reason why you probably would want to use this is if you're behind a firewall. Um, let's say you're logging into at work or whatever and you're behind a firewall they don't allow Telnet applications um, you can connect over your your cell um, connection even if you're connected to Wi-Fi which is nice. I've also added a links here real quick um, uh, basically um, you know just a list of, of MUD sites um, that uh, that you might be interested in. The about screen the important part of this is my support email so if you have any problems or suggestions um, you can click here and it'll um, send me an email, which is nice. I also have some of my other apps um, and my Twitter feed. All right, so let's can, let's start by looking at the host uh, screen. Um, new here is from last time is that um, you can set up a startup script. So um, if you have a login information on your server, uh, you can enter that here, and that'll that will be sent to the server as soon as you connect. Um, and also in this screen is uh, macros, so you can add um, new macros um, or uh, view existing ones. Um, so a macro basically lets you um, type in a small alias uh, in this in this example rec and push enter and when you type in REC the script down below will get executed sent to the server um, so it's a nice way to save on typing you can have multiple lines in your script so in this in this case you've got uh, um, take recall bag and then that'd be just like pressing enter and then doing recite recall um, the other thing you'll notice here is that this script has a parameter in the, the script it uses one um, the alias is just the the first thing that you type and you push space um, and then after you push space anything else that you type there is going to be um, a parameter so if you push B space um, ogre then this script um, will send bash ogre and then stand um, that percent one is that first parameter and you can up, have up to five parameters so um, so that's kind of cool. The other thing to notice here is the shortcut checkbox. Um, there's a shortcut menu, so um, commands that you use often or scripts that you use often, um, you can add to the shortcut menu. Um, shortcuts can't use uh, parameters because the, uh, the script is just sent as if there, there weren't any parameters. Um, but uh, you can still do these multiple lines um, as, as well. So here I've put in northwest, um, east, south. Um, and uh, those will show up in the shortcut menu. So let's connect to a server. 
to see how that works. Um, I, on this server host favorite, I've already um, typed in um, a name and password. So, and you can also connect to multiple servers at the same time. So you can see I, I click back out of there and um, I'm still connected to the main character. Um, and you can, there you go, you can, you can connect to multiple servers at once. Uh, the thing to note, a couple things to note about this is that, um, first of all, you can scroll up and down just by scrolling up and down with your finger. When you do, it goes into uh, scroll lock mode, so when new stuff comes in from the server, um, it doesn't scroll to the bottom like it normally does. If you do want to go back to auto scroll, you can click auto scroll here or just type in something and press enter here. And I mentioned the shortcuts menu before, That's this is what that is. Um, uh, I don't have any shortcuts for this server, but I do for the other one. Let's resume. It's, I probably already... Oh, there you go. So I, I showed you some of those before. Um, these will show up in the, the shortcut menu when you click in the, the checkbox. Um, so in this case, you can go nor click north, south, east, west, and uh, and connect there. Um, and you can switch between um, active servers by just going back to the main menu and then clicking resume, or you can disconnect. Um, so there you go. That's the uh, that's the uh, the new features of Telnet. Um, this is coming to the marketplace pretty soon, if not already, since by the time you watch this. Um, all right, this is Sleepy Daddy Software. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I hope to see talk to you later.